Hey guys, Jake here from the channel of Lego Morph, another Lego book review, and today we're looking at the Nexo Knights, the Book of Knights uh, book. Retail price is normally $20, comes with a exclusive minifigure, and I got this from Amazon for about $10, so if you get a half off, it's a really good deal, honestly. So let's take a look at that exclusive minifigure, which of course here is Murloc before he became Murloc 2.0. You can see he has the dark blue cape, he has that nice blue wizard hat which kind of reminds me a bit of Magisto from the Dragon Master team of Castle. He uses the same beard as Vertruvius from the Lego movie. And we'll move his beard just to show you a better look at the printing underneath. So you can see the, the face print I think is exclusive. I'm not sure but it looks really awesome. And I love his printing on the torso which the beard was hiding. You can see there is a um, there is a USB um, drive in there, and it has an M on it, you can see, which looks really cool, too. And the printing really shines, too, well. And he also has some back printing on the torso, you can see, has the robe there. And overall, very awesome minifigure, and I'm really glad that it was an exclusive to this version, because I really like that we got the original Merlin. So, there is... Morrowind 1.0, as I would like to say. So, very awesome minifigure. We also get a map within this set. Also, do keep in mind, this is based on the 2016 sets. So, you can see a map of Knighton. And we do have all the all the books. You got some of the uh, scenes from the TV series. Here's all the books, again. Macy's home. It it also talks about who's where's who, who's where. Which looks very cool. So then again, there is a map which is pretty cool. Comes with that map, and you can also put it in there as well. But let's take a look at the book very quickly. So overall, it's a pretty interesting book, and it basically covers the entire 2016 sets. That even includes the summer sets. But there's really no mention of like the stone monsters in here. So. Um, you can see the book has a really interesting design on the pages because of the minifigure design. Again, I'm not going to go through everything. So they do explain about the characters like Aaron, you can see here. And then we have his, um, his Arrow Striker, which there's the V2 set. Very good set, honestly. Um, and then here we have Macy's Vehicles. We have a bit of the Squire Bots you can see there as well. I really like the Squire Bots and I really like the newer ones because they give you the new color helmets. We also have Ava Prentice and Robin Underwood, a.k.a. The Black Knight, if you guys watch the TV series. There is the books. So there's also, as you guys know, 12 books. Well, there were 12 books uh, for the Book of Monsters, or should I say Monstrux, because he's the Cloud Monstrux now, because this is from 2016. But you can see the books that we get. These are the ones we get in the sets, so that's very really cool, too. And then we have... The Volcano Lair, which I've reviewed on my channel. Very good set. From one of my favorite of next night's book set for the castle. There's the General Magmar set. Pretty good set, too. Reviewed that as well. There's some stone monsters. You got Sparks, Infernox, and Burnsy. Very good buildable figures. Moltar and Flamma. There's Whipperella. So it explains the way about up to the lava monsters, but... It doesn't explain anything about Stone because, again, this was a 2016 book. There's the Black Knight mech. Pretty good set, too. And then you have the ultimate versions of the Knights. And it even gives you a set gallery of all the sets released, including poly bags for uh, 2016. And then you have all the figures that have been released of 2016. So, overall, I think for what you get, it's a pretty good book, but I really recommend if you get it at a cheaper price than $20, because I think it's much worth it if you get it cheaper than 20 And the reason for that is the book really only covers the first year of Nexo Knights, but I still think it's a pretty good book, especially for this minifigure of Murloc. I think that's the best thing about this set. And like I said, I got this for like nearly half off on Amazon, so if you can find it at like a $10 price, it's definitely worth getting book, honestly. Also, it does come with an exclusive scannable power, too, which I forgot to mention, um, which is somewhere around here, honestly. Let me see if I can find it so you guys can scan it if you want. Um, here it is, the greatest hits right here. If you guys want to scan it, you can do that. But, yeah, uh, overall, it's a very good book, otherwise. Yeah, I know I'm saying otherwise a lot, but... 
bear in mind I'm filming late, but yeah, it's a good book though. I really enjoy it, and I do definitely recommend it because it is worth a read too. So let me guys know what you think about this book down below in the comments, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.